Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how three simple steps can transform a flat image into a stunning photograph instead of on one photo raw. Let's dive in and take a look. So inside of on one photo raw, let's take a look at this photo here. As we can see, it's quite dull, it's quite flat, doesn't have a whole lot going on. But no fear, we can use on one photo raw's powerful tools to quickly bring life back into the scene. So I'm just gonna prove that this is the original by just holding down the backslash key on my keyboard. So this is the original photograph. We haven't done anything to it. So in three steps, we're gonna bring life into the scene and turn it from flat to fabulous. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the develop tab here, and we're just gonna use the handy dandy Brilliance AI feature. Brilliance AI is going to analyze the scene and it's automatically going to develop our tone and color settings for us so that we can immediately just move on from that basic raw processing and start styling our image. As you can see, one click and we've brought a lot more life into this scene and we've really taken away all of that foggy, flat feeling that was there in the first place. So we have the original and then after, and now we're well on our way to creating a stylized look. So the second step here is we're gonna use the LUTs filter instead of the effects tab to bring a little bit more style into the scene. The LUTs filter is an amazing tool that packs a whole lot of punch and brings in a whole lot of style in just one filter. So in the effects tab here, we're gonna add a filter. We'll use LUTs. Now essentially what LUTs are doing is they're color grading and modifying the contrast within your scene to build unique styles. Within the LUTs filter and every single filter inside of effects here, I would highly recommend going into the styles section here and pulling up this more menu. There's a ton of amazing LUTs to choose from for any particular scene that you're going for. And the great thing about LUTs here is if you choose one, you can also go down into this LUTs section here and you can modify the contrast to make it a little bit more contrasted or to tone down the contrast. You can also modify the saturation to boost the color or you can desaturate the image entirely. Now, one thing I'd recommend doing, and I'm just gonna turn off the LUTs filter, we'll go back to that in a second, is if you're not sure what a preset style does inside a particular filter, in this case, let's say the LUTs filter, head over to this little button on the bottom left, open up your preset drawer, and rather than going to your presets here, choose filters. So this is going to house all of the different filters inside of the effects tab. In this case, we'll go into LUTs here. And now it will show you all of those preset styles and you can just hover over them and it will give you a nice little preview with that particular style in action. Now, one of my favorites, especially if I'm going for a little bit more mood and a little bit more drama is this Brana filter, or Brene Brana, I think it's Brana. But this filter's really awesome for just bringing in a nice little bit of mood and a nice little bit of style into the scene. If we turn this off and on here, brings in a little bit of color, brings in a little bit of light, and it just gives it a nice overall vibe, and it works really well for this particular image. But again, head into that more menu and check out all of the unique styles. Also, we have a ton of amazing free LUTs that you can download from our website at our creative library. It's just onone.com slash creative dash library. You can find a ton of amazing LUTs to download and add into your images. Now I might actually go down here, boost the contrast just a little more, and then pull up on the saturation just to give it a little more color. And last step, we're going to target a specific area in our image and make it pop with detail to make the subject stand out a bit more. In this case, I want this little shack, I could say, uh, on the pier here to stand out a little more. So what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna head over to my tool well on the left. I'm gonna grab my super select AI tool. I'll just hover over the shack itself, click that, and then we'll right click and we'll add in dynamic contrast. And we'll use that surreal there to really make that shack stand out within the image. So we have the original image here. And then after, in just three very simple steps, 
We used Brilliance AI to set that basic tone and color for our photograph. And then we used a LUTs filter for a little bit more drama and mood. And then we targeted the shack with Super Select AI and added in dynamic contrast. It's really that easy to turn a flat image into a stunning one using On One Photo Raw. If you enjoyed the image, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more lessons on elevating your photo editing.